So thank you very much. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the organizers for giving me a chance to, uh, to talk here. And this is a kind of uh, introductory uh, talk in uh, on uh, EFT of uh, a scalar tensor gravity uh, with a time-like uh, profile. So after uh, introduction, uh, I'd like to start with uh, EFT, uh, this kind of EFT on Minkowski background, and then the extend it to, to, to a cosmological background, and then uh, to arbitrary background. And uh, this kind of EFT can be applied to, for example, uh, perturbations uh, around the black hole, black hole uh, with the uh, time-like uh, scalar field. I mean, so the gradient of the scalar is uh, time-like. And uh, so, and this kind of EFT is motivated by uh, many cosmological models, such as uh, inflation and dark energy. So the, uh, in this background, black hole background, uh, this scalar field can be a dark energy. And uh, so uh, in this uh, section four, I'll also uh, discuss uh, this kind of black hole. So I'll show a concrete example where uh, or black holes, uh, 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 where time uh, scalar field has a time like con configuration, okay? So let me start. And uh, so this is uh, uh, my collaborators and Katsuki and Iman and uh, uh, Katsumi and uh, uh, Richard. And so this talk uh, basically uh, uh, mainly talk about uh, this uh, paper with uh, Richard. But at the end of this talk, I will mention uh, briefly about uh, this uh, paper, which is about the vector tensor theory. Okay, and we, uh, this was uh, with Katsuki and Iman and uh, Kazumi. Okay, so let's start uh, as an introduction, because uh, scalar tensor theory of gravity is kind of uh, modified gravity or uh, theory uh, gravitational theory beyond GR. Let me explain the motivation for 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 uh, gravity beyond general relativity GR. So uh, first uh, motivation for IR modification, namely the uh, long time scale and long, long uh, uh, distance, distance scale. So of course, uh, motivation comes from uh, behavior of gravity at long distances, such as uh, flattening gas in rotation curves and uh, uh, diminished supernova. And uh, usually people try to explain these interesting phenomena by introducing a new form of matter, namely dark matter, and a new form of energy, namely dark energy. But uh, in the history uh, of science, uh, there was something similar. Okay. So in 19th century, uh, uh, people discovered that uh, uh, Mercury was doing something interesting, a uh, perihelion shift. And then the, uh, some people tried to explain this interesting phenomena uh, by introducing a new planet, I mean, uh, so to speak, dark planet. And uh, it was called Vulcan. And uh, so it, it, I mean, it, could explain some 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 behavior, but not perfectly. And also the, of course the, the I mean, but uh, some people actually uh, uh, claim to claim that they, they, they some discover discover this <laughs> uh, dark planet. So the but uh, of course this uh, uh, discovery was not correct, and the right answer was not dark planet, and it was changed gravity from Newton to GR. So uh, having this in mind, uh, so. I think it's natural to ask whether uh, we can address uh, mysteries in the universe, uh, such as dark energy, dark matter, inflation, uh, big bang singularity, and uh, maybe cosmic ma magnetic field by uh, modification gravity, namely the, uh, go by going beyond general relativity. Okay. Of course, uh, the history does not have to repeat. So that this time, maybe dark energy and dark matter may be the correct answer. But still, I think it's uh, good to try. and. Uh, in the end, uh, the experiment and, and observation can tell us which is the right answer, okay? And this is the first motivation. And also the second motivation is a uh, theory of quantum gravity. So we want to uh, unify uh, general relativity with the uh, quantum uh, theory. And uh, so the, uh, many, many of us think that we need to modify uh, general relativity at least at short distance, okay? So the, for example, superstring theory or uh, uh, so-called Hojavarius gravity, they are uh, kind of uh, gravity beyond general relativity, changing the behavior at short distances. Okay. And uh, also there are a third motivation. So the, uh, we want to understand GR itself. So for this purpose, I think uh, uh, thinking about the uh, theory of gravity beyond GR is useful, I think. I mean, after all, one of the best ways to understand something, maybe just to break it and then the, uh, reconstruct it. 
So in the end, uh, of course, at short distance, probably uh, we, we have to uh, probably uh, uh, modify uh, behavior of GR, but at long distance, maybe GR may be the, the correct description. That may be a possibility, but still, uh, in order to prove it by, by uh, observation or experiments, I think uh, the best way, one of the best way is to, to uh, constrain the possible deviation from GR by observation and experiment. For this purpose, it's uh, uh, very uh, convenient and very useful to have prediction from, from uh, concrete theories of uh, uh, theories beyond GR. Then we can, we can make a, a comparison with observation and experiment. And for, for this, uh, in this way, uh, there are uh, uh, at least three, three motivations. And uh, I mean, depending on, on the person to ask, I mean, uh, there may be other motivations. But for me, uh, these three motivations are, 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 are driving force to thinking about the gravity beyond GR. Okay. okay so this is a short, short introduction about uh, uh, GR, I mean, uh, 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 gravity beyond general relativity. Okay. So let's move on to the. Uh, uh, EFT uh, of uh, uh, scalar tensor gravity with a uh, uh, time-like scalar profile in uh, Minkowski background. Okay. So, uh, but before doing that, let me let me explain why we want to think about uh, EFT as a, a, a approach to to scalar tensor gravity. Okay. So, okay, first of all, I mean there are many uh, gravity theories, and uh, uh, so. When we look at when we find some some theory or uh, some some friend tell you uh, 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 some new uh, gravity theories, I think at least there are three checkpoints. First, uh, what are the uh, physical degree of freedom, and uh, second, uh, how do they interact, and third, uh, what is the regime of validity? Okay, and if uh, two or more theories give the same answers to the uh, three questions uh, like this. Then I think they, they they are the same actually, even if they look different. And in this in this way, so I think uh, there should be uh, some universal description. And uh, effective field theory is a, a good way to to uh, describe uh, in a uni uh, in a universal way. And uh, this talk is about the scalar tensor theories. So uh, I think uh, I, I I should explain what what uh, they are. So scalar tensor theories of gravity are described by, by the metric and uh, uh, scalar field okay? by, 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 by the name uh, tell you. Okay? And so the starting with uh, uh, Jordan in, in 1955 and Brown Stick in 1961 and so on, there are many theories. And uh, uh, in uh, 1974, uh, uh, Horondisky found uh, uh, the most uh, general scalar tensor theory of gravity with a second order covariant equation motion. So the, uh, uh, often this theory is called a uh, Horndisky theory. And uh, more recently in, uh, in 2016, uh, so-called DOST theories and degenerate higher order scalar tensor theories uh, beyond the Horndisky theory uh, was found. And uh, this also has the uh, same number of degree freedom, but the uh, equation motion uh, 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 can have uh, uh, more than second order derivative. But still, number of degree, degree of freedom does not change. It does, is the same. And, uh, and then the, in 2018, uh, uh, so-called u dost, uh, so the, uh, the so-called degeneracy condition is satisfied only in the intergauge. So this kind of theory was found uh, by, by us. And, uh, so, but the EFT, effective field theory, uh, can, can describe all of them, and actually the, uh, maybe more, uh, in a universal way. So that's why. I'd like to talk about the uh, EFT approach to scalar tensor theories of gravity. Okay. And uh, so one uh, famous uh, EFT of this kind is uh, a so-called EFT of inflation or EFT of dark energy. And basically, uh, this is EFT of scalar tensor, tensor gravity with the time-like uh, scalar profile. Because uh, uh, inflation, as, uh, uh, of course, by, uh, by definition, inflaton, because uh, uh, inflation is not just, not just uh, uh, accelerating uh, expansion, but uh, it should uh, come with the mechanism to end it. And in order to end it, uh, there should be some field uh, that remembers uh, the, uh, the time remaining uh, until the end of uh, uh, accelerating uh, expansion. Okay. 
So this is uh, the, the simplest way is to consider scalar field because uh, uh, time remaining is just one number and uh, and the uh, scalar field uh, remembers what just one number. So the scalar field is a uh, simplest way. Okay. So uh, inflaton is basically this scalar field. And it is uh, it has a time-like derivative because otherwise, uh, 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 as we go to the future, the value of scalar field does not change and then uh, inflation does not end. Okay. So, uh, so inf also dark energy has a time-like gradient. So the this uh, EFT of inflation is basically uh, EFT of scalar tensor theory uh, with a uh, uh, time lag scalar profile. Okay, so basic idea is very simple, and uh, so because of uh, time lag derivative, the time differential is broken by this uh, profile, but the spatial differential is preserved. Okay? Constant, uh, I mean, so the uh, surface uh, on which the the, the uh, scalar field is constant can be defined, and this uh, defines the foliation. And on each, on each uh, surface, special field is preserved. Okay, and therefore, the the when we construct the EFT, we can just consider all terms that respect special field, and uh, basically that's it. But uh, then, the, in order to uh, in order to uh, convert this action uh, in uh, in a form which is uh, convenient for 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 actual computation, we perform derivative expansion and the part of the expansion. Then the, uh, if you want, we can uh, recover different morphism invariance for the different different invariance by introducing a, a kind of a go, number Gaussian boson, and uh, this corresponds to uh, uh, original scalar field, namely the inflaton, in the case of uh, EFT inflation and or dark energy. So this is the basic idea, and uh, actually the simplest one. Uh, with this kind of uh, property, I mean, in EFT of scalar tensor gravity with time like scalar profile is a, a ghost condensation, which I uh, constructed some years ago with uh, these people. So let me start with this. Okay. So the, we can uh, systematically construct uh, this kind of EFT uh, by just assuming these two assumptions. Okay. So namely the backgrounds uh, characterized by, by, by uh, non-vanishing uh, wave of derivative. And uh, uh, we assume that uh, uh, this uh, wave is time-like, okay? like uh, in, uh, derivative of inflaton or derivative of uh, dark energy. Okay? And then, the, but here, because of, uh, for simplicity, we consider Minkowski background. So the background metric is, is Minkowski. Okay? These two assumptions leads to uh, uh, EFT of this, I mean, EFT action uh, like this. And so let me explain how, how to obtain this. Okay. So the, because of this first, uh, first uh, 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 assumption, uh, because derivative of scalar field is uh, time-like, we can choose a uh, uh, time coordinate such so, uh, in, in, in a way that uh, uh, scalar field it, itself is time. Okay. We can choose, uh, we can choose uh, uh, in this way. In other words, uh, uh, perturbation of scalar field is said to be zero by, by, by uh, uh, choice of time, time coordinate. Okay. So this is sometimes called unitary gauge. And in the unitary gauge, uh, the residual symmetry is just a spatial diffusion. So we can change the spatial coordinates to uh, arbitrary function of time and the original uh, time coordinates. And then the, this doesn't change. Okay. So the, this gauge choice is uh, preserved. So that this uh, spatial diffusion is a uh, uh, residual symmetry. So the, mo uh, the strategy here is to write down the most general action invariant and uh, uh, this residual symmetry. That's it. Okay. And then the, if we want, we can recover uh, for the diffusion by, by uh, introducing uh, introducing pi uh, by, by undoing unitary gauge. So I, I'll do that later. But let's do this uh, 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 mission. Okay. So we, we write down most general action invariant and uh, this uh, residual symmetry. Okay. So let's consider a flat background because a uh, Minkowski background, uh, because uh, we assume that the background metal is Minkowski. Okay. And, uh, but the Minkowski plus perturbation, because we want to uh, uh, construct the EFT describing perturbation around the Minkowski with a uh, time like uh, profile of a scalar field. Okay. And then, the, uh, as we know, the, 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 this H mu nu uh, uh, transform and the uh, 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 for the uh, diffio in this way. So the Guzai mu uh, generates the, the, the 4D diffio 
coordinate transformation. Okay. And, uh, but we can use only spatial diffusion. Therefore, guzai i. Okay. We set the guzai zero to be zero. Then the h zero zero is invariant because uh, we, if we set uh, zero here, zero here, zero here, zero here, then the, uh, we, we know that the guzai zero is zero for this, this is symmetry. So the h zero zero is invariant. So we can use h zero zero in the in the if reaction, but h uh, zero i is not invariant because uh, uh, zero i, so uh, i zero, this is, one, this is zero, but uh, this is non-vanishing, so we have this. Also the hi component is not invariant. So we cannot use uh, h zero i and h i j itself. Okay. So the, we can use, again, let me, let me repeat, we can use h zero zero square, but not, I mean, because we assume that uh, Minkowski is a uh, uh, good background, namely the satisfying the equation motion, so we should start from second order in perturbation. So that's why we start from h0 square. This is okay, but we cannot use h0 i square because uh, this is not invariant. On the other hand, uh, by looking at these two formulas, we notice that uh, uh, we can combine them to find the uh, invariant combination. So we take the special derivative of this, uh, yes. Uh, then the time derivative of this, we combine them to form uh, this combination. This is invariant. And uh, uh, so let's call it Kij. And actually this is a, a geometrical quantity called uh, uh, extrinsic curvature. So representing how constant time surface is invented. And this is geometrical quantity. So this is basically the uh, 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 no, three-dimensional tensor. And the uh, background value is zero. So the, uh, this is covariant, but background is zero, so that this is uh, invariant indeed, and uh, special diffusion. So we can use square of this, and there are two ways to square. Uh, this is a square of trace, this is a trace of square. Therefore, we can use uh, this term, and this term, and this term. On top of that, of course, we can use Einstein Hilbert action, uh, action for, for GR, because uh, Einstein Hilbert action is invariant under 4D diffusion. And as a special case, it is invariant under this uh, special diffusion. Therefore, we should include this. So that's all. And uh, of course, we have uh, uh, additional terms, and uh, but they, they 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 are higher order, and we can ignore them uh, as I will show you later. Okay. And uh, then, the, if you want, we can recover covariance by by uh, introducing pi. So the but uh, so this can be done by promoting uh, broken uh, 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 gauge. I mean, a gauge parameter for, for, for the bro broken symmetry to physical field, okay? So we set the xi zero to be pi, and then the uh, h zero zero transform uh, in this way by, by using, sorry, uh, this formula, zero, zero, and zero, 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 and you have two, okay? So that's why we have this. And uh, because we lower the, 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 the ind index, we have minus here, okay? And also Kij transform in this way. So by just uh, plugging this to here and plugging this combination to here and here, we get this action, okay? So this is uh, 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 invariant under 4D diffusion, okay? Because we introduce extra I mean, uh, uh, redundant degree pi. So the, in this way, we can construct the EFT action in a universal way, but by just assuming these uh, two assumptions, okay. very easy. And also we can show that uh, terms uh, here, dot, 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 can be ignored at low energy. So let's do that. In order to do that, we can just do a kind of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, power counting, okay. getting analysis. So let's multiply energy scale by some factor R, and then, the, of course, by, by usual relation between energy and time, uh, dt should uh, turn, I mean, change uh, scale like this, should scale like this, uh, inverse of this. And uh, on the other hand, dx should scale like this. Let me, let me see how, how, how uh, we can we get, we get this. Okay. From this action uh, in the so-called uh, decoupling limit at, at short distance, we can, we can ignore metric perturbation. So let's set uh, hi zero to be zero and k, k to be zero and so on. Then the, uh, we get this kind of action. Okay, so from this time we get pi dot square after some normalization. And then the, from these two terms, we get the, uh, 
uh, square of second special derivative of pi. And therefore, in order for this action to be invariant under scaling, the time derivative should scale like a, a square of special derivative. Okay, so they should uh, scale in the same way. Therefore, the special derivative should be uh, like scale like a square root of time derivative. Therefore, uh, we have this. Okay, this is square root of this. Okay, and then the, we want to make uh, this action to be invariant under scaling, and the pi should uh, scale like this. You can see uh, very easily. So how you can see uh, how how dt and the volume factor uh, scale and so on and pi should scale like this. And interestingly, the scaling dimension pi is one quarter, not one. Okay. Uh, by using this uh, this uh, scaling, we can uh, see how how this uh, reading uh, nonlinear operator in infrared. I mean this uh, is uh, somewhere here. Okay. In other words, here. And uh, we can show that this has a scaling dimension one quarter, which is positive, I mean, very relevant. Therefore, at low energy, we can ignore uh, those, I mean, high, higher, higher order terms. Okay. We, can, we can repeat the uh, same analysis for other terms, and all of them have positive scaling dimension. So we can, we can ignore them at uh, low energy. And these two terms uh, dominate the dynamics. In this way, we have a good uh, low energy effective theory, uh, and we can make a robust uh, prediction. For example, we can derive uh, derive inflation uh, using this kind of scalar field, and uh, we can make uh, interesting uh, prediction. Okay. And uh, you may wonder why we, we call this a ghost condensation. I mean, this is, this has nothing to the ghost. <laughs> this is just uh, I mean, so by going back to here, uh, this is just the uh, EFT of scalar tensor theory uh, with uh, uh, this kind. I mean, uh, with the time like uh, scalar profile in Minkowski background. That's all. Okay. But uh, we, we call this ghost condensate for the following reason. I mean, so if we consider, uh, so I mean, we can explain this uh, by comparison with the uh, usual Higgs mechanism. Okay. In a sense, ghost condensate is a Higgs mechanism for gravity. And uh, let me explain this. Okay. So usually uh, in Higgs mechanism, we consider variable scalar field as an order parameter. And we consider, for this reason, we consider potential like this. Okay. And uh, here we have tachyonic, uh, tachyon and uh, instability. And for this reason, we can live here. Instead, we can live here, where, where first derivative is zero and second derivative is positive. Instead, in ghost condensate, we consider a wave of derivative scalar field as a, a order parameter of uh, spontaneous symmetry breaking. For this reason, we consider a, a kinetic term like this. Okay. And then the, here we have a ghost, so we cannot live there, but we can live here and here where first derivative is zero and second derivative is positive. The EFT that we just constructed is a EFT for, for perturbations around, around this point or this point. Okay. We, don't talk, we don't need to talk about uh, uh, behavior here where there is a ghost. And uh, therefore, I mean, this EFT does not have to, uh, has nothing to do with ghost. But uh, uh, for this uh, I mean, kind of consideration, we, we call it the ghost condensate. Okay. Because ghost condensate, then the, we have a good EFT. And then the, uh, if you consider dynamics, I mean, uh, so, so property of perturbation around this point uh, or this point in the usual Higgs mechanism, uh, the gauge symmetry is broken. And uh, as a result, gauge force is uh, modified uh, by, by uh, like a, a Yukawa, Yukawa type. Okay. In the ghost condensate, uh, we have, we, so time transcendental symmetry is broken spontaneously. As a result, gravity is modified in an interesting way. So this is the reason why I call it, we call it a uh, ghost condensate. But uh, this is just uh, uh, actually, as, as you, you, you can see already, so the EF, this is just EFT of scalar tensor gravity with time-like scalar profile on Minkowski background. Okay. And let me now uh, extend this to, to, to cosmological background. It's very easy. And, uh, but it was not, it was done not by me, but, uh, but it, it, uh, this extension was done by these people. And uh, this extension, uh, extended version was, is called EFT of inflation or EFT of dark energy. Okay. So the idea is, uh, uh, I mean, very easy. So that we, we, we just uh, uh, want to construct EFT that is invariant under special diffusion, as in the ghost con condensate. Okay. And uh, therefore, uh, we, con we can use uh, in the action the, the, the uh, metric, d mu downstairs, 
and the GMU upstairs, and also a 4D curvature, Riemann curvature, and the covalent derivative as usual. And also because uh, we don't have 4D, full 4D diffio, but only, only 3, 3D diffio, we can use time as an ingredient and its derivative. Okay. And the first derivative time leads to just a chronical delta, mu downstairs and zero upstairs. And therefore, by contracting uh, G mu downstairs, uh, no, uh, G mu upstairs, with the uh, chronical delta twice, we get a G00 upstairs. So we can use G00 upstairs in the action. Okay. This corresponds, and in the ghost candidate set, we use H00, and this is a non kind of nonlinear extension uh, in, in, in more general background. Okay. And also uh, from this fast derivative, we can construct a, a, a unit vector by just normalizing it. Okay. This is uh, the same as this. Then by just normalizing, so that uh, uh, this has a unit norm, so n mu n mu has e equal minus one. Okay. And uh, in other words, this is just a chronical delta uh, delta mu zero mu downstairs zero upstairs divided by square root minus g zero zero upstairs. Okay, so this is a unit normal to constant time surface, and then the, we can construct uh, 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 induced metric on the constant time surface three D metric in this way. Indeed, uh, but if we contract this with n mu uh, uh, upstairs, then the uh, vanishes. Okay, so that this is also going to n mu. Okay, so this is an induced metric on constant time surface or a projection operator, if you want. Okay. And uh, after first derivative, we can compute second derivative. From second derivative, we can construct so-called exchange curvature. This is a nonlinear extension of uh, what uh, what we call Kij in the ghost condensate. The same quantity, but it, this is uh, fully nonlinear. So this is tensor. So we can use this. In, uh, as a result, I mean, so in a, a general action can be constructed out of time, chronic delta, mu downstairs, zero down upstairs, and k mu nu, which is exchange curvature defined in this way, and uh, metric, downstairs, upstairs, and covariant derivative and curvature. That's all. General fun we can construct a general function made of this. Of course, we need to contract the, uh, uh, those uh, mu nu indices. As far as we contract them, we, uh, L can be arbitrary scalar quantity made of them. Okay. And this is completely general action uh, with uh, this, uh, this is a symmetry. Okay. Then the, we can uh, perform derivative expansion and the part of the expansion, because this is so general that this is not so, so useful. <laughs> And in order, in order to make it useful, we, we perform a uh, derivative expansion and part of the expansion. Then the, uh, we get uh, this kind of expansion. Here, uh, delta tilde represents a uh, uh, perturbation around um, deviation from a Friedman background because we are interested in uh, 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 homogeneous isotropic cosmological background and the perturbations around it. So that this is a perturbation. Namely, the uh, G00 upstairs on the background is uh, uh, in, if we choose time code, I mean background time coordinate as a proper time, then it is just uh, minus one. So the uh, this is a G, this is basically g zero zero upstairs plus one. Okay. If we choose a proper time, in other other coordinates we can we can choose uh, I mean different value. But uh, anyway, this is just a deviation from freedom background. Again, this is also a deviation of k mu nu exchange curvature from the background and so on. Okay, and uh, so this part is a uh, second order in perturbation or higher, second order and higher order. But so that uh, they, these terms do not contribute to the background, but uh, contribute to, to the uh, dynamics of, determines the dynamics of perturbation. They, these three terms contribute to both background and perturbation. So in this way, uh, I, I don't explain the, uh, because this is introductory talk, I don't explain the details. The, this idea is just this. And then if we want, we can, we can uh, uh, recover covariance by introducing number boson boson or Stuckberg field. And namely that we promote uh, 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 kind of uh, uh, time diffio, I mean, so broken time diffio to a physical field. So we just replace uh, time by this combination. And uh, 
H, uh, so, so for example, if you have a function time, then we, we can just replace it this way, okay? And the delta, uh, chronical delta is replaced by this and so on. Then the, we get the uh, action, uh, covariant action, which includes uh, 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 pi and uh, also metric perturbation. Okay? And uh, sometimes in order to compute something, uh, correlation functions, it's convenient to go to the, uh, uh, do the kind of uh, so-called decoupling limit. And uh, by ignoring the uh, metric perturbation, then we get this kind of action. Here, uh, the, okay, so here uh, CS square is defined in this way and it represents the speed of propagation for most uh, uh, at the sub horizon scale. Okay. And uh, so this person is like this. So that indeed this uh, represents speed of propagation mode. Okay. And this uh, kind of EFT has been very useful uh, in uh, to, to uh, predict the, the, the correlation functions uh, from uh, inflation. And uh, so this, uh, again, this is a uh, EFT action constructed in this way. Uh, and the first line uh, represent, uh, controls the, the, the uh, path spectrum. So we can compute the path spectrum by using these two terms. And here, theta is a, a, a so-called curvature perturbation. And uh, we can just convert, first we can com uh, compute the correlation function pi, then convert it to the uh, uh, correlation function of, of uh, theta, which is curvature perturbation. And the second line, uh, uh, especially these, uh, these two terms are uh, uh, important for computing uh, three-point functions. And uh, uh, from three-point functions, we can define the so-called bispectrum. And, uh, and then the bispectrum, uh, size of bispectrum is uh, written in this way. And uh, if an L is so-called nonlinear parameter, I mean, measuring the size of non-gaussianity. Uh, here we have two types of three-point interactions universally. We don't have other terms if we assume a uh, single field inflation because of the uh, symmetry breaking pattern, uh, we don't have other terms. Okay. And then the, we have two parameters. One is sound speed square defined uh, in this way. And the other one is uh, C3. Okay. Sound speed basically controls the size of non-gaussianity. And when CS square becomes small, then the uh, FNL becomes large, okay? Scale like one over CS square for small uh, CS square. And the other parameter controls the shape of non gaussianity And uh, uh, so in the free space, uh, three-point function can be uh, 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 parameterized by three momenta, which forms a, a, a triangle because of uh, momentum conservation. And the shape uh, is represented by, by, by two, two uh, numbers, okay? Here, kappa two and kappa three. And uh, uh, three-point function, I mean, a bispectrum uh, plotted as a function of two parameters, kappa two and kappa three have this kind of shape and controlled by C3. Okay. For C equals, C3 equals zero, this, uh, we have this kind, kind of shape. This is for C3 equals minus 3.6 and this, uh, this is for minus 4.3. And uh, this uh, shape is uh, basically uh, actually the prototype of the so-called equilateral shape. And this is a prototype of the orthogonal shape. All other, uh, for all other values of C3, uh, shape is linear combination of these two. So basically this formalism uh, can tell us that uh, only, we have only two shapes of um, uh, three-point functions. Uh, without uh, uh, having uh, EFT, I think it's, it, had, uh, it would have been uh, difficult to uh, figure out that we have only two shape of, uh, shapes of non gaussianity uh, Here, but of course, uh, here we assume that uh, uh, vacuum is a bunch of vacuum. If we assume bunch of vacuum, we have only two shapes uh, for, from the single field inflation. At, especially at the equilateral configuration. Okay. So the, in this way, uh, uh, this kind of EFT has been useful. So let me summarize so far. So Ghost condensate uh, uh, universally describes all uh, scalar tensor theories of gravity with time-like scalar profile on Minkowski background. And extension of uh, this uh, to, to uh, cosmological backgrounds result in EFT inflation and dark energy. 
And these EFT provide universal descriptions of all scalar tensor theories of gravity with time lag scalar profile on each background, including Hornisky theory, those theory, and those those theories, and more. I didn't have time to explain the, the EFT with dark energy, but the construction is uh, basically the same, but parameterization is uh, slightly different. Okay. So let me move on to the uh, uh, black hole with uh, time like scalar profile before going to the uh, uh, EFT on arbitrary background, because this gives us the uh, motivation to, to, to develop EFT on arbitrary background. Okay. So, uh, as we know, cosmology and black holes play important roles in gravitational physics, uh, similarly to black body radiation and the hydrogen atoms uh, in, in quantum mechanics. So, and in cosmology, a time-dependent time scalar field can act as dark energy, while black holes serve as a probe of uh, strong gravity. Therefore, uh, we hope to probe uh, the scalar field dark energy by astrophysical black hole. But this would require the scalar field profile to be time-like in a black hole. Otherwise, contours of the scalar field would become ill-defined. Okay. As far away uh, in the cosmological region, the, the uh, so scalar field is time evolving. So the constant times, constant uh, scalar field surface would be like this, okay? space-like. Okay. And the uh, scalar field is evol evolving. And uh, if the, uh, uh, so, if the uh, region near near the black hole, the scalar field is, 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 is for example, constant or space-like, then the uh, constant phi surface, scalar field surface, would, doesn't, would, would not match. Okay. Therefore, uh, at some point, uh, uh, EFT should break down, and we need to use a uh, defined EFT to describe a black hole and the uh, uh, region near black hole and the cosmological region. Then the, it's difficult to tell, uh, tell about uh, dark energy from whatever we do with the uh, 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 black holes. So uh, if we want to probe uh, scalar field dark energy by astrophysical black hole, then we need to consider time-like profile for scalar field near black hole so that we can describe the whole system by single EFT. So the, uh, so the question here is, are there a black hole solution with uh, time-like scalar profile or not? And the answer is yes, as I will show here. So the, uh, this is one example where uh, of black hole when the, uh, where the scalar field profile is time-like, a so-called still, still solution. Okay. Let me explain this. So let's consider a, a simple theory like, like this. So the Einstein hybrid action plus scalar field, six symmetric scalar field. Uh, so the action is a, 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 a function of, of X where X is usual kinetic term. Okay. And equation motion is like this. The prime is a derivative with respect to x, and uh, uh, Einstein equation is like this. So uh, if we set uh, p prime equals zero, then the equation motion for scalar field is automatically satisfied. This is because the uh, uh, expression inside uh, uh, this one is zero. Okay. And also that if p prime equals zero, this vanish, and the uh, right hand side is proportional to the metric, meaning that this like this is like a cosmological constant. Therefore, if we have a, a solution to the Einstein equation with or without cosmological constant, and if a, a p prime has a root, then the, we can just set x to be x naught, where x naught is a root of p prime. Then the, uh, we, we can find the uh, exact solution to the uh, both equation because this is automatically satisfied and uh, this reduced to uh, just this where uh, effective cosmological constant is given by this okay then how to find uh, a configuration of scalar field with x equal constant okay? x naught okay? and it's very easy okay because uh if we i mean this uh, by, by uh, setting x to be x naught where x is given by this uh, is equivalent to a uh, 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 to uh, require that uh, u mu defined in this way is uh, geodesic, defined geodesic. Okay, so this define this, this satisfy the uh, geodesic equation. Okay, and if we find the uh, uh, hypersurface orthogonal congruence of geodesics, then the, we can find the phi. 
basically the uh, so yes and then the uh, phi divided by this quantity can be normalized normalized to to one uh, uh, then the uh, 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 this defines the Gaussian normal coordinate okay? this is the time okay? basically what we have to do is just to start with uh, some some uh, uh, space like surface hypersurface then the uh, send GOD6 uh, orthogonal to this surface and measure proper time around each GOD6. And uh, when the time is one, we, 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 we uh, connect uh, each point with the same same time. Then we form a next time surface, constant time surface, and we can repeat. In this way, we can construct uh, the so called Gaussian normal coordinate. And uh, indeed, uh, time in this Gaussian co co normal coordinate corresponds to pi. So in this way, we can easily find the exact solution. And uh, this is so-called, uh, this is called the sales solution because the uh, uh, scalar field has a, a non-trivial profile, but the uh, metric is like a GR solution. Okay. And uh, as I already explained, uh, starting from constant, uh, I mean, uh, uh, so some, some uh, space -like surface, we can always find the uh, Gaussian normal coordinate for any metric, at least locally. And uh, Therefore, if P prime has a real root, then the any vacuum GR solution with a cosmological constant given by this locally leads to space solution. Okay. If, you if you want to consider, a, a, say, Schwarzschild black hole, the simplest black hole solution in GR, and then the, uh, it is known that uh, this uh, Schwarzschild metric admits globally very defined the uh, Gaussian normal coordinate, the so called limited reference frame. And the metric uh, is written in this way, in this coordinate. And uh, but this looks a bit uh, uh, strange, but indeed this is just a, a Schwarzschild coordinate, a Schwarzschild metric written in a funny coordinate. Okay. And uh, uh, in the in the uh, Penrose diagram, uh, this is constant tau surface. Okay. And then the, we can find the still uh, Schwarzschild solution by setting phi to be square root x naught times tau. So uh, if uh, P prime has a positive root X naught, and if uh, lambda effective is canceled by uh, Bayer cosmological constant. So this is a simple example. And uh, so the, uh, in this way, we can find the Schwarzschild uh, metric in, in K sense. And uh, then the, so uh, also that we can generalize this to uh, Schwarzschild uh, or Schwarzschild logit uh, or Schwarzschild ADS in Hornjewski theory. And the more general theories, uh, as as uh, done by these people. And uh, okay, maybe I don't have time. Maybe so that I skip this part. And uh, so maybe I skip. I, I'll explain a bit about this. Okay, so so uh, perturbations are on the most uh, most of those uh, state solutions are actually infinitely strongly coupled, unfortunately. Uh, this means that the solution cannot be trusted. And on the other hand, I mean, at least for, for, for these, those theories, but approximately state solution in ghost condensate uh, actually does not suffer from, uh, from strong coupling. So what's going on? And we can, we can figure out the reason. Okay. So EFT around the state microscope uh, solution uh, had this kind of dispersion relation. I mean, uh, pi, dot square, pi dot square and the uh, square of uh, second uh, spatial derivative of pi was uh, there in the action. Therefore, dispersion relation like this, omega squared is proportional k to four. Okay. So uh, for alpha, if alpha equal order one, the EFT will be coupled all the way up to uh, scale m, as we have already seen by, by scaling analysis. So uh, there are no problem. And uh, however, uh, in, uh, in uh, theories like uh, DOST, the equation motions are strictly second order if for, for perturbation, okay? at least for perturbation. Therefore, alpha is actually zero for those theories. And then the uh, dispersion relation loses uh, dependence on K. That's the reason why a uh, 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 stealth solution has a strong coupling for those theories. Okay. Indeed, uh, for, for, for this kind of dispersion relation, by sending uh, CS to zero, the strong coupling scale uh, scales like this. So the strong coupling scale goes to zero. And if we don't have K to four, okay. this is an analysis, I mean, simple analysis. And, uh, but uh, uh, by, by detuning the degeneracy condition, and uh, we get this kind of action, this kind of dispersion relation. 
and this can uplift the strong coupling scale to, to this. Okay, so if alpha is order one, we have, I mean, so the, the theory is weakly coupled all the way to scale n. Okay. And then the, if the amount of depth tuning is small enough, then the apparent ghost is heavy enough to be integrated out. So as a EFT, uh, everything is okay. So we call this uh, weak and the control the tuning uh, uh, of uh, degeneracy condition, scrolldatura. And the uh, scrolldatura dose uh, realizes uh, ghost condensate uh, near stress solution while it behaves like a uh, dose theory away from them. Okay. Let me skip this. And we'll put this. Please. Okay. So the uh, if we want to run uh, something about scalar field dark energy from black hole, then we need to consider black hole solutions with time-like scalar profile. And the state solution is a, a, a example of a black hole solution with time-like scalar profile. And many of them suffer from strong coupling problem, but uh, uh, this can be solved by uh, scrolldatura, which is a, a control detuning business condition. And uh, uh, indeed, EFT ghost condensate already includes a scrolldatura. So by extending uh, EFT uh, ghost condensate to more general backgrounds, we can we can have a, a, a healthy uh, EFT around the black hole background like this. Okay. So let me uh, uh, move on to the uh, 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 EFT on the arbitrary background, motivated by the existence of black hole with time-like scalar profile. Okay, this was done with uh, uh, Vajarit, and uh, I will not go into the details. And uh, but uh, uh, so we we now know the answer to this question, and the answer is yes. Therefore, uh, the next question is: Can we develop EFT of scalar tensor gravity on such a uh, black hole background? This is the question, and the answer is yes. And uh, but it's not so straightforward, and uh, so we have we have general action in the integer gauge before uh, expanding around the background so the uh, a bit uh, so the uh, action is and uh, so the action is uh, 4d uh, uh, integral of scalar quantity made of uh, 4d curvature and the g tau tau uh, previously written as g00 upstairs and the uh, exchange curvature and the covariant derivative and the time this is general we can use this but uh, uh, we want to consider uh, uh, ex I mean, ex expanded form around the background and of course, we can perform Taylor expansion around the background, for example, black hole background that I explained. And however, so so each term here is not invariant okay, under under special diffusion. Okay, so the whole action is invariant because we expanded uh, this, but each term is not. So for example, delta g tau tau or g not g zero zero upstairs is not invariant under three D diffusion. Because the uh, background breaks a uh, uh, special diffusion, it's inhomogeneous. Okay. So the perturbation is not invariant, okay. but whole action is invariant. And therefore, uh, if we want to, uh, uh, ex I mean, uh, promote each coefficient, for example, this one, to an arbitrary function of uh, time and the spatial coordinates, then the, this doesn't work. Okay. So this is uh, uh, maybe a problem, but the uh, solution is uh, very simple. And solution is uh, consistency relations. Okay. Consistency relations come from the, just the chain rule. Okay. So for example, let's consider uh, f, uh, f bar this, this term. Take a special derivative. Then the by, 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 because f is originally uh, uh, functions of uh, those uh, quantities, building blocks. Therefore, by performing, so that uh, f bar depends on time and special coordinates, but only through those building blocks. Therefore, by using the chain rule, we can get this, okay? So first uh, uh, derivative if, if uh, with respect to uh, g tau tau, and then the multiply by derivative g tau tau with respect to xi, and so on. And uh, so each term, this one, and this one, and this one, uh, appear as a, a, a EFT coefficient, Therefore, this relation, uh, just the chain rule, uh, represents the consistency relation among uh, coefficients in the EFT. And we can do the same thing for other, other, other EFT coefficients. Therefore, we have infinite number of, of consistency relations. Okay. As far as we impose uh, those uh, uh, 
So consistency relations, then the special different invariance is injured. injured. So the, uh, then the, uh, after imposing uh, these, uh, those cons consistent relations, we can promote uh, Taylor coefficients to arbitrary uh, function of space and time, modulo those uh, consistent relations. By the way, we don't have a, a, a consistent relation from a time derivative because uh, uh, time. I mean, so the uh, because it, this depends on time, time and uh, uh, partial derivative of f with respect to time does not appear anywhere in the FD, FD coefficient. So the, we don't have a, a consistent relation from time derivative, but from x derivative, we have a, a consistent relation for each time. And therefore, we can we can safely expand the, the, the EFT action by uh, with respect to perturbation, and we can get the consistent to make sure that uh, 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 the, the the action is invariant under, under special field. Okay. So important points that the EFT coefficient should satisfy the consistent relation, but otherwise uh, all terms are arbitrary. Coefficients are arbitrary. Then the, if you want, we can restore for the different bias to the, the fields as trick or uh, introducing number boson boson, as we have done for, for Minkowski background and the uh, cosmological background. And uh, uh, also we can easily find a uh, dictionary between EFT coefficients and the concrete theories. Therefore, by, by if we uh, get the constraint from to, on, on the coefficient, EFT coefficients from experiments uh, and observation, we can get the constraints on, on, on theory, uh, concrete theory. And uh, this uh, uh, EFT can be applied to any backgrounds, therefore, in particular, to, to black hole with time-like scalar profile. And this can uh, serve as a bridge between theories and observation. And so far, uh, as applications, uh, we considered uh, background analysis for spherical symmetric black holes uh, already in this paper. And all the parity perturbations around the spherical symmetry black holes was uh, almost done, and uh, we are writing a paper. And even parity perturbation around the spherical symmetry black hole is a work in progress, and I think uh, this can be done. And uh, we hope to extend this to rotating black holes and dynamical black holes. But if you have any other possible application, please let me know. Okay. okay let me summarize uh, this talk. So there are at least uh, three motivations to go beyond the general relativity, mysteries in the universe and uh, quantum gravity and understanding GR itself. And the ghost condensation is a universal description of scalar tensor gravity with time-like scalar profile on Minkowski background. And we can extend this to a uh, uh, freedom background in the cosmological background. And then we end up with a uh, 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 universal description of uh, fluctuations of inflaton and dark energy called EFT or inflation and EFT with dark energy. And if you want to learn something about scalar field dark energy from a black hole, then uh, we need to consider black hole solution with time-like scalar profile. And then the, uh, for this purpose, uh, we in order to analyze perturbations around uh, such a black holes, we develop a, 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 a EFT of a scalar tensor gravity uh, with time-like scalar profile on arbitrary background, this one. So the uh, ghost condensate is on the uh, Minkowski background, EFT inflation and dark energy uh, cosmological background. So this is for arbitrary background, in particular black hole background. And that's why we call this uh, EFT black hole, back, black hole perturbation, but can be applied to, to any other backgrounds if you have a good uh, uh, application. And the action uh, can be start. I mean, so general action can be written in this way, but non perturbatively uh, If we expand a uh, 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 kind of uh, Taylor expansion around the background, uh, then the each term is not invariant under special refill, but whole action is invariant. And this invariance can be uh, 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 imposed by uh, this in, uh, consistency relation obtained from just the chain rule. As far as we impose uh, consistency relations, then the, uh, so we can promote if uh, this uh, Taylor, Taylor coefficients to arbitrary function, modulo uh, those uh, consistency relations. Okay. So this is the uh, EFT uh, on, on, on arbitrary background. Okay. So 
the EFT of scalar tensor uh, gravity with time like scalar profile on arbitrary background was developed. And consistency relations are important. And uh, uh, they, those must, they must be satisfied by, by EFT coefficients. And then the special refuel invariance is uh, guaranteed. And this can be applied to black hole with a scalar field dark energy. And if you have any other possible applications, please let me know. We can use uh, this EFT. Okay. And before ending this talk, I'd like to uh, briefly mention about other different direction to, to, to extend the uh, web of EFTs. So the uh, in this talk, uh, I mainly talk about this direction. So the, uh, starting from Gauss condensate in, on Minkowski background, extend to cosmological background and arbitrary background. Okay. So this, uh, so starting from Gauss condensate, uh, EFT with inflation and dark energy. But uh, we can, so Gauss condensate has a six symmetry. And uh, if we gauge it, then the, we can obtain uh, gauge the Gauss condensate. Uh, which I developed uh, some years ago. And then the, so similarly to this direction, this, uh, this extension, we can extend gauge Gauss condensate to freedom of, I mean, cosmological background. Then we end up with the uh, EFT of uh, vector tensor theory, not the scalar tensor theory, but the vector tensor theory. Okay. And this can describe the whole, I mean, all, any, any uh, vector tensor theories on, 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 on uh, freedom of background. And uh, this uh, EFT in the unitary gauge has uh, this kind of uh, residual symmetry. Contrary to the residual symmetry uh, uh, for scalar tensor theories in unitary gauge. Here we have a kind of gauge field. That's why uh, on the Minkowski background, uh, this is called uh, uh, gauge the cost condensate. Anyway, so the the relation between the uh, EFT of inflation and the EFT of vector tensor theories uh, is uh, like this. So we can we can impose shift symmetry to get the uh, EFT of shift symmetric scalar tensor theories. If we gauge uh, this this uh, shift symmetry, we can get the uh, EFT of vector tensor theory. So in this way, uh, we 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 uh, extended uh, kind of uh, wave of EFT. Okay. If you are interested in, uh, please have a look at this paper. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much.